Modesto voters will have some big choices this fall between city council candidates, a school board race, and a decision on whether they want the city to start using district elections. They're free to cast ballots in the city's mayoral race, but that contest is already settled. No one chose to challenge Mayor Jim Ridenour, a retired ambulance company executive who unseated Carmen Sabatino four years ago by pledging to create a civil tone in City Hall. Since then, Ridenour won praise from business groups and citizens for tackling difficult problems, such as crumbling sewer lines and a looming shortage of drinking water. He undertook those assignments with a straightforward manner that rarely grabbed the spotlight, a style that friend and building industry representative Steve Madison called consensus building. Jim got our endorsement four years ago because of his business background. He's a quantity that we know. He's a leader. He's visionary. And he's just the right man for the job. Ridenour drew some critics from Sabatino supporters, who said the former mayor ran meetings into the wee hours of the morning, but they believe they saw democracy in action. Ridenour made it a point to change that setting, saying it instilled rancor in City Hall. We come in on Tuesday night, we beat up somebody and go, go to bed and forget about it. Well, that employee next time won't take the challenge. One of the things that I'm really looking to do here is I want the employees to take risk. I want them to go out and say, hey, this is a great idea, and bring it up the ladder. Don't be scared to bring it up and find out that we can't do it because of money or we just can't do it. We have a translator. Up ahead, Ridenour wants to take advantage of the groundwork he put into the council over the past four years. He sees a bright future for Modesto status as a regional medical center. We're going to be a medical facility here. I, I just had lunch with a gentleman from Kaiser and I said once they open, I cannot see anybody having to leave this area to go anywhere for any type of surgery, any type of help. For downtown, well, I think downtown is uh, improving almost daily. Uh, the Gallo Art Center coming in, that has done a great thing to downtown. I think it'll do nothing but be great. I think the State Theater, between the two of them now, we're going to have a real culture uh, center for, for uh, symphony, for different plays. Both of them are doing real well right now. Our downtown's vibrant. We have some of the best restaurants, I think, anywhere in the downtown and throughout our city. I think that the... Um, Next move, as far as I'm concerned, is we've got to continue to work on improving the uh, development of downtown. And for new industries scoping out the city's new capacity for sewer and water resources. I think we've still got a lot of work to do. I really do. I mean, even if you take, yes, we did the sewer, yes, we did the water. But there's still a lot to do in both of those areas. Government oversight will also play a key role in Ridenour's legacy. In his first term, he addressed the city hall with a lingering gender discrimination complaint in its finance and public works departments. Last year, the council uncovered a string of expenses made by a former public works director. As a result, the council now requires more information about city expenses. You know, we've had our bubbles, our blow-ups, uh, you know, the, the building that we found was out in, a, in uh, public works. But you don't go out and fire everybody for that. You find out what was the problem, how did it happen, fix it, and go forward. In the meantime, Ridenour faces budget cuts this year, which could lead to tough choices ahead, including figuring out how to put more police officers on the street so there is 1.85 officers for every 1,000 residents instead of 1.35. Well, it takes money, and I think that goes back to what I told you earlier. We're going to have to see what the people want, and if they want to be at 1.85, we may have to go to a half cent, like everybody else. Ceres is doing it to, right now. Whether it's a half cent sales tax, whether it's a, uh, a parcel tax, we have to get to where we want to go and then I think we can put a plan into works that keeps us at that point. Fixing roads is another challenge that could lead the council to ask for a sales tax increase in the next four years. We're so far behind on our roads. And I think if you want to see what, how good it works, just go to San Joaquin. Look at what's going on there. I mean, they're giving money to the state of California to, on a loan so they can get high 205, is it done, to four lanes, five lanes? He plans to approach those challenges with the same style that carried him this far. We need to do our job and worry strictly about making sure Modesto is a better place to live. Have you visited The Hive lately? The Hive is a community blogging site for modbee.com that provides a forum for discussion of community issues. Bloggers include bee reporters, editors, and readers with strong feelings on everything from politics to poetry. Go to thehive.modbee.com and start blogging today.